Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Catholic TV. Would you like a little tour? Come on in. So I'm so glad you stopped by. This is the lobby of Catholic TV, our national headquarters, obviously. And right behind me is the Grexley Studios, where we do all of the podcasting, like the infamous K&J show, for example. And the first person you meet when you stop by Catholic TV is none other than St. Therese of Lisieux, the patroness of Catholic TV. She's right here and her relic to remind us that she's praying for us like all of you. Now over here, not too far from the lobby is the door to the chapel. I know you'll recognize this place. Let's go in and take a look. So this is the sacristy where those priests, those great guys who come in here every single day to celebrate the Mass for you and me, they come to prepare. The vestments are all here, the liturgical books, and the chalice, of course. But now let's go out and take a look at that beautiful room, that beautiful chapel that's so familiar to you. Let's take a look. So this is the chapel. It's actually quite beautiful. And we're able to come into this chapel, those of us who work here at Catholic TV and pray uh, any time of the day. As a matter of fact, we're always praying for your intentions. And right over here, speaking of which, is the prayer box that we always speak about. And inside the prayer box are the intentions that you have sent in to us through our website, catholictv.com, or through the mail. And right above the prayer box is the relic of the true cross. This chapel is named the Chapel of the Holy Cross. And we have a relic of the very cross that Jesus died on. And we open this up and venerate the relic on the Feast of the Exaltation of the Cross. But this is also a television studio. And so let me turn the TV lights on so you can see what it looks like when we're here to broadcast the Mass each and every day on Catholic TV. The Lord Jesus is present here in the tabernacle. And this is the perspective you get if you're the priest celebrating the Mass. Of course, we have St. Therese, she's here, always praying for us. Our Blessed Mother and St. Joseph and those beautiful statues. And then behind the altar, also St. Bridget and St. Patrick. And of course, that stunning image of the crucified Lord. But technically speaking, here in the chapel, there are three cameras. There's, first of all, the camera on the jib, on this boom, that gives you that kind of bird's eye, wide angle view of the chapel during mass. And then there are the two other cameras here at the back uh, that move around and make it seem like you're actually here with us. And that's our goal especially if you can't get out to your parish for one reason or another, we like to, to allow you to be part of the Mass and our prayer here in the Catholic TV Chapel, each and every day on the Catholic TV Network. Now, why don't we go downstairs to see the studios and the control rooms? Follow me. So down here are the two studios, the control rooms, master control, and also the green room. Funny story about the green room. I'll show you, let's go in. So this is the green room, obviously. Funny story is that when we first moved into the building some 16 years ago, they said to me, so what color do you want the green room? I said, what are you crazy? Paint it green. And we get the green furniture, but the whole point of the green room is it's a place where people can relax and get ready to be on one of the shows on Catholic TV, where it's all for you. So that's the green room. Let's go down to uh, one of the control rooms, control room A, because that's where the teamwork happens. So this is one of our control rooms. As I say, it takes a lot of teamwork in one of these rooms to make a television show happen. The director sits here, pushes all these buttons, none of which I know anything about. Uh, you got the graphics person, the teleprompter, and then just behind me, behind the glass, the audio booth where uh, the audio or sound technician sits, and they work together as a team uh, to make a great show. For example, if you're watching This Is The Day, this is where the magic happens. Speaking of which, let's take a look at a couple of the studios. So this is Studio B. It's actually set up right now for one of the telethon acts. But we also do, in this room, The Gist, Going My Way, Wow, The Catholic TV Challenge, among other shows. So this is Studio B. It's the smaller of our two studios, 
but it's actually a very active place where a lot of the great television that you watch here from Catholic TV is produced. Let's go and see Studio A now. Follow me. So behind this very heavy door is Studio A. This is the Catholic TV living room. The set that I'm sure you recognize from whence we broadcast our live morning show, This is the Day, this is my chair, this is my coffee mug. And it's actually kind of a pleasant living room. And we really enjoy inviting you into our living room as we come into yours. But anyway, this is Studio A. And it's not just the studio where we have the set for This is the Day. We actually have a lot of cameras here. This is one angle. This is another angle. You get a jib here like we have up in the chapel. And then over here on this side is Kevin Nelson's domain. This is the, the news desk. Catholic TV uh, has news break that plays throughout the course of the day. And then of course, when Kevin appears on This is the Day, he does the news right from this news desk. And then over here, just behind this camera, is the chroma key set. And no doubt, you have watched Father Dan. The longest running produced program here on Catholic TV, We've Got to Talk, and Father Dan records his show right here on the green screen. But now, let's go into Master Control and take a look. So this is Master Control. Why are we here? Because this is kind of the brain of Catholic TV, the hub. This is where it all comes together. When we produce a show or we do something live, like the Mass every day, it ends up here in Master Control. And it goes from here, thanks to Armando and Bruce and Joe, it goes from here up to the satellite. And somehow it makes it onto your television screen or onto your device or computer. But this is master control, like I say, the brain of Catholic TV. But on top of it all is the roof. And we should really go up there to conclude our tour. Let's go upstairs to the very top, the summit of Catholic TV. Here we are on top of it all. This is the roof of Catholic TV, uh, where all the satellite dishes are, obviously, and also the microwave dishes. This is how we get the signal from one place to another. For example, when we have a production down at the Cathedral of the Holy Cross, like Sunday Mass or an ordination, we microwave the single signal over here. It goes down to master control and then up to the satellite through one of these dishes. Don't ask me how it works. I just know it works. And thanks for your support as we continue to grow Catholic TV. And I'm so grateful that you stopped by to get this kind of quick behind the scenes look at your favorite Catholic television station the Catholic TV Network, where it's all for you. Hey, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. We keep you in our prayers. May God bless you.